cut you off. Cut me off? Both of you. Well, her, her head is chopped off. Alright. Tell me how it looks with me. Both in it? Mm hmm. Alright. Give us a count. I'll say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, how you doing? It's DJ Flash Jordan live here at Zone 1 with Shamita J. What's going on, Shamita? I'm just chilling here in Atlanta just having a good time. That's great. Um, me and Shamita, we go back, maybe, what, maybe two years. Um, this is what I know about Shamita J. I know she's a soulful songstress uh, that resides in Tampa, Florida, originally from Freeport, Bahamas. You're a fan of hip-hop, right? Yeah, I love hip-hop. <laughs> met, met her at the A3C Hip-Hop Festival here in Atlanta. And I know you have a smoking video for a song called You Just Mad. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that song, right, You Just Mad, mm -hmm. was that um, that's based on a true story? <laughs> <laughs> it's inspired by true emotions, yes. True emotions? <laughs> yes. So who you mad at? <laughs> well, I'm not mad. They just mad. They just mad. They just mad. Why are they mad? Because um, they no longer have a say, you know. And I got doing, you. I'm doing what I'm doing, regardless. Okay. So you're originally from Freeport, Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Got you. Any brothers and sisters? I do have three brothers, three sisters. Um, they're all here in the states. So six of you. Yeah. Well, seven. Wow. Yeah, I'm the baby of all. Wow. So you're Cindy Brady. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say you're spoiled? Um, no. I definitely, I'm maybe a little stubborn. Spoiled? I don't know. Alright. How long you been singing? I have been singing as long as I can remember. Um, since a young child. I started off in the church choir at a tender age, maybe like five years old. Started off in the children's choir. Got you. What brought you to Tampa, Florida? From Freeport, Muhammad? Well, my family, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> they kind of told us we were going to be living here. We said, okay. And um, started school, and life has been great since. I grew up in Tampa as well. What did you attend school in Tampa? I started off at Lewis Elementary. <laughs> this is going way back, right? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Lewis Elementary. Where is Lewis? L E W I S? Or L E W I S? Yes, L E W I S. And that's in um, Temple Terrace. I grew up in Temple Terrace. Yeah, that's in Temple Terrace in mm -hmm. um, Tampa. And then I moved on to Walker Middle School, which is out there in Odessa, Florida. I know about Odessa. Yeah. It's kind of going toward Port Ritchie. Yes. Okay. There's a lot of trees out there. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I went more elementary in Loops. Skip Skipper Road. So. Okay, yeah, Skipper Road. Yeah, you just mad. That was the only song that I heard. Mm -hmm. Could you run down like your discography? You know, uh, a list of some of your hits and your albums or mixed CDs or whatever. Well, I started recording um, quite a few years back, and then originally, I wasn't necessarily looking to be the next thing or even consider myself a real artist. I was just hopping in the studio writing hooks. Um, record, whatever. Um, had a few songs that I recorded on my own, but I never really started pushing myself as an artist. And they just kind of sat down in the archives for a while. A few of my friends would hear them and tell me I should definitely move forward and, and try and do more with it. It wasn't in about until like two years ago, 2012, same year that we met, that I really, it, it was put on my heart to move forward with this. And mm -hmm. I have been pushing since. And I have released The Reason Why is a song that I put out that it was recorded a while back, but I just let it test the waters and it did fairly well. Mm -hmm. um, our local radio station decided to spin it, got a lot of good feedback, and then that's how You Just Mad came along. I actually um, linked up with CK, mm -hmm. who lives in Tampa. He's a songwriter. Um, and that song came about. It was a late night studio session and mm -hmm. You Just Mad came about. Um, speak of radio station, which radio station? 95.7 The Beat? Yeah, my man DJ Sam, man James. 95.7 The Beat, yes, 
Shout out to DJ Sandman. That's Great my guy. man right there. Great DJ guy. Sandman. Great guy. Um, real cool with him. Orlando on 94.1 too. Yeah, I've heard of Orlando, of course, growing up in Tampa. You hear him on the radio all the time. I haven't had the opportunity to meet him myself, but... Yeah, cool guy. I went to Florida and ended up with Orlando. We're a choir. We're in the choir together. Okay. Family. Choir. Mm -hmm. Like... Concert choir. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a bass. Okay. I'm a baritone. And uh, Orlando, believe it or not, was a tenor. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. What, uh, are you a soprano or an alto? I'm more of an alto or mezzo, as you would call it. More of an alto. However, I can, I can get up there in the high ranges. Mm -hmm. My comfortable spot is definitely alto. You are beautiful. Oh, um, you're so woman. nice. <laughs> and, um, I know the fellas out there want to know, you know, are you single or, <laughs> you know, what's the deal? I have a man of interest, yes. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Pretty amazing for me. I, I took home a couple of awards. 
I'm a virgin to the As One Awards, really? but I'm the only As One team this year. This is my awesome. first As One Awards coming to. Actually, I met you through my homeboy, Mr. Gray, from Battle Royale Entertainment. Oh, yes. And that's who introduced me to you and, and be slim or be thick, as she likes to be called now. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yep, so, you know, we split tight. I grew up pretty much with Sam, and uh, I met Sam man through Idris Muhammad, who's the manager of The Villains. Okay. And I saw you on, uh, on YouTube with The Villains at uh, Bull Radio, I believe. Uh, yes. No, invasion. yes. Saturday Night Shutdown. Saturday Night Shutdown. Yes, Saturday okay, Night Shutdown. Shout boy. out to Concept. Concept. Yeah. A.K.A. my man Martin Dina, yeah. from Lato High School, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> King High School represent Lion Pride, um, that's, that's dope, it's one big happy family, Yes. Um, like I said, I got a lot of stuff planned for you with a lot of other, um, what are some other singers in the Tampa Bay area that, that you know of that you might collaborate with? Kalia, she's dope, dopeness, what's up to you Kalia? She's an awesome writer, awesome vocalist. That's my that's my honey too. Um, Kalia so sang the hook on Man uh, Almighty Jai's mm -hmm. album that I uh, reviewed for um, As One, and I uh, I had met Kalia, you and Brandy at the same time, I believe. Like Future would say, at the same same time, <laughs> but I don't think I realized who she was. And then I heard, um, you know, Almighty Jai's Dream Soul separately album, and I was feeling it. And uh, my homeboy Life was on there. Okay. Uh, doing, oh, doing poetry. Yeah. yeah, I grew up with Life a little bit. We were swinging in the same circles. And then that's how I got familiar with Kalia. And then um, this particular A3 seat had just passed. And we, you weren't here, were you? No, I did not attend that one. We missed you. Oh, I missed you guys too. And um, <laughs> we hung out, you know, um, you know my homegirl Lyrica? Mm, name sounds familiar. Yeah, you gotta go with Lyrica. So. We'll talk. We don't okay. sound off the record. I don't care with Lyrica. Uh, I'm going to just sound playing a little big tour for a lot of uh, songstresses um, down here in the South. Some of them will not be from the South. A lot of them will be from the South. We're going we're gonna to hit Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, maybe even Texas. Okay. So stay tuned for that. Maybe North and South Kakalaki. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take your shirt off, push my head like a helicopter. <laughs> all, that, all that other good stuff. So, um, you say, uh, who, what are your ties you know, here in Atlanta other than myself? Uh, I, too many names. Um, a really good friend of mine that I've known for years, probably the first person I stepped into the booth with, um, Bolo. He goes, just by Bolo, mm -hmm. he goes, what I call him. He's done some work out here. I know he's worked with, um, most recently, I want to say it was like French Montana record that was placed, and he's worked with. Oh my gosh, the name is eluding me right now. But he's here in, in Atlanta, started off in Tampa, Florida. Mm -hmm. But he's out here doing his thing. And there's a few other people, honestly. Uh, the list would go on, and I'm really horrible with naming somebody and leaving someone else out. Mm -hmm. So I'll just leave it with him. <laughs> okay. But more so on the production side of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm networking now, like even on this trip, we've been blessed to meet some awesome people in radio. Here and I'm just excited. Okay. Um, I have an event called Underground Expressions. Um, we did our first one and on Valentine's Day. Okay. I would love to have you come by and bless the mic. Most um, definitely. So cool. Yeah, gonna have um, we have poets and singers and live music, some grown folks stuff. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm 43 years old. I just turned 43 on March 11. Pisces yeah, makes a noise. Appreciate it, baby. Happy birthday, Pisces. Y'all special. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Y'all are special. So, um, <laughs> can I get a freestyle real quick? You want a freestyle? Freestyle. Just sing. Maybe sing happy birthday or something like that. Oh, I'll sing happy birthday to you. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Your world, I'm just here. <laughs> so, um, anything you like to add? I 
I mean, look out for me. Show some support. Honestly, this is something that I love to do. It, it's my calling. It is challenging. There's some challenging days. It's constant hard work. Um, so just support by any means. A nice word goes so far. Support the, the projects as they come out. A single, you just mad. You can also view purchase it on iTunes right now. I mean, it's how, how we're making our living. So if you can support it in any means, share it, say you like it, that, that helps a lot. Because so we are nothing without our supporters. You just mad. It's going to be on your first album. Um, yes, it will definitely be included in the project. Now, I don't know if we're going with the full length. It all depends on how things carve out. But we're definitely shooting for an EP. Okay. So, yeah, if it's full length, then Grotty's great. <laughs> I got a lot of family down here in Atlanta mm -hmm. as well, and I'm going to try to see what I can do as far as, you know, pairing you up with them. I'm going to just say a lot. Some of the people on the radio you probably heard of, some people you hadn't. Most of them you heard of. Okay. Um, we'll talk off the record. <laughs> off the record. But anyway, <laughs> this is um, DJ Flash Jordan from the As One and UAT. We should meet a J. Sign them off. Bye. <laughs> Take a look at it where it is.